Now that all that's done, I'm going to get her tail done real quick and then we'll move on to her legs. For the tail, I just comb everything to one side. And trim a straight line from the tip of the tail pointing towards the pin bone. And you're just trying to make it look like a very neat little, some people like to call it a Christmas tree and other people like to call it a carrot. And depending on how long the tail is docked, you'll either get a nice long tree or a short little tree. Okay, so I'm going to use my curved shears to do her feet. Alright, so now I'm going to trim her back leg and I'm using my Zolita Mirage curved shears and I'm just going to fluff up all this leg hair and then from the back I'm making a straight line from the top of the dog down to the table and I'm just going to trim on that line and I'm not going to worry about the chop marks in the leg yet. I'm just getting the length off. And then once I get all that length off, I can fluff this up again. And go back with my chunkers and blend that all in. We want a nice uh, C shape on the back of the leg. So we want this to look like it scoops out. So we trim a little bit off below the stifle. Stand, stand. And the only reason I don't clipper this is because it'll take it too short and won't leave anything for me to sculpt the dog's leg with. So I like to chunk that off. I still take a good amount of it off just with scissors instead of clippers. And then we're going to straighten this line on the back of the hawk a little bit to give her a nice little foot. Wrap that around. And then for pets, I don't like to leave too much on the back leg. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that length off. For this tuck up area where we don't want to take it too short but we need to take some off, I like to lift the leg up and I do a little windshield motion with my chunkers. So I'm starting at the tuck up and I'm angled out away from the dog and I'm just going to chunk this out and go right into the leg. And then blend that up after you put the foot down. So that gets a lot of that bulk out without accidentally taking too much off. So you've still got your length for your tuck up. All right, and then going to the front leg, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to set it in with my curved shears. Fluff everything up. So when I fluff up into the shoulder, I can see what length I trimmed with the clippers. And then 
I start by, you're okay. I start by beveling the bottom of the foot and I just bring that up and I go straight up the leg and blend into the clipper work I've already done. You're a good girl. So I know. I'm going to do one more swipe going straight up the leg. Don't worry about your chop marks because you're going to blend them in with chunkers. Do the same thing on the front of the dog. I'm going to start my bevel at the bottom. And then once I have my bevel set in, I'm going to go straight up the leg. Just get all that length off. And then I'm going to switch back to chunkers and blend it all in. a little bit off the back of the leg and then I like to cut a little angle from the the big paw pad up to where the little knuckle pad is and that just makes give me your foot that just makes her look like she's up on her toes and for the majority of the of terriers you want them to look like they're up on their feet it makes it look like they're ready to go so you cut that out on a very slight angle. Okay, and then same thing that we did on the back leg to blend this elbow in. Stand, sweetheart. Stand. I know you're a good girl. To get all that elbow hair without accidentally pinching the elbow, we just comb it out and blend our belly into our leg, holding the leg up while we do it. So. And that'll get all that excess hair out of the elbow and out of the armpit without pinching your elbow. Now that we're done that, we're going to get her head done real quick. So we've already set her cheek and her throat in with a five comb on our, on our or not our bravura, with a five comb on our cromado. And now I'm just going to shape her beard and her fall. And I'm going to take a little bit of length off the top of her head and from the profile view, we want this to be a nice brick shape. So I can take anything off that's sticking up up here, and I can take a little bit off the top of the top of her head. And then I'm going to blend this line where I stopped clipping. I'm going to blend right into her beard and right into her fall. You're okay.
We're going to use straight shears to clean up her ear a little bit. So I'm going to comb everything to one side. And I'm going to protect her ear leather with my thumb and my fingers so I know how much I can trim. We're going to make her ears cute little triangles. And then we fluff this up a little bit. Good girl. And we want a very subtle dome shape from one ear to the other. So back to my chunkers, I'm going to comb all this forward. And from out the outside of the ear to the outside of the ear is going to be a very subtle dome. And everything now is just blending everything in. So we don't have any sharp, distinct lines. Everything should just blend into the next length of the dog or of the dog's coat. Nothing should be obviously a different length from anything else. Her fall doesn't grow very fast, so I don't trim a lot of it. I just kind of gauge when she comes in how much to take off. And I'm just going to shape it a tiny bit this time. <laughs> Thank you. And that, I think, is it. Stand. That's it.